I start my day with a good old song every day. I see you waving. How y'all doing back there? How y'all doing at home? Y'all all right? Listen, all right. Baby, he must have been talking about me because that song came out in 1981. <laughs> the year that I was born. Yes, it did. Oh, my goodness. Had me feeling myself. Hold on, y'all. I'm almost done with it. Uh, dun, 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 dun. So don't look at me like that. Hey, uh, I'm a bad man. I'm a gemma. That's gonna be the remix. Don't, don't, don't y'all stop. Dun, 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 dun. Jesus, bad Sing it, y'all, one more time. Don't say you ain't never sang with Jennifer Hudson now. Give yourselves a hand. <laughs> oh, y'all still going? I like it, though. I thought it was a talk show, but now I see I got a whole choir. Are y'all ready for a good show today? Oh, baby, it's gonna be so good. We got my good big old friend in the house. Mr. Shaquille O'Neal is here. Yes. I'm so happy. He yeah, you excited? I'm so happy he decided to stop by the happy place to come look me upside my head. My son and I and all his cousins, we go to the All-Star Game like every year in honor of my late brother on his birthday. So it's like a tradition for us. Of course, they basketball boys. I'm a basketball mom, so my son loves to go to the basketball games. And he gets to run it. Look at this. This is what Shaq, him and Shaq had to have their moment. That was his hug. How precious is that? Not only do they have basketball in common, but baby, they got these big old feet <laughs> and shoes in common, okay? So, okay, let me give you this story. So my brother, his foot size grew until he was 17 years old. So my mama used to be praying like, oh my God. So when Jason turned 13, his shoe turned size 13. 14, 15, 16, it went up every year. Now, my son got the same issue, y'all. <laughs> okay? So he's, when he was 13, he was 13. Now he's 14. Guess what size again? A size 14. So who better to ask about those feet? <laughs> right? That's right, right? Okay? And speaking of feet and shoes, okay, I'm a shoe girl. Any shoe people in the house? <laughs> yes. Good, because you, you better have your shoes, because I take my shoes everywhere I go. And you know I'm a shopper, right? Okay, so let me tell you. Let, I got my basket. Hold on. Let me just get it on out here. I brought my good shoes today. But see, when I get, when I get shoes... What you say? You like that shoe? Listen, when I get a good old shoe, and then I call, when I put my heels on, it's called heel time. So you only got so much time to talk to me. I have me standing up in my heels. Okay? So I, when I'm... I like to put my shoes on this place. I hope y'all don't mind. Give me a second. Cause you gonna look at these shoes. And then when I wake up in the morning, and to me, shoes is like art, okay? You, you see that? Got a little shine. Then I'm always running around with the kids and the basketball and stuff. So we gotta have our gym shoe, right? Cause they not gonna be dragging mama by the face with no heels, okay? All right, hold on, I'm not done. Then plus I need that for the gang cause I gotta give it to them out here. All right, we got one more, hold on. Y'all don't mind, you don't mind, do you? Okay, I'm gonna put the basket back on right here. Now, anybody used to watch me on the show called The Voice at All? Yeah! Mm -hmm. See, shoes for me, yeah, we wear them and they lovely and all, but for me, it's an expression. I love to express myself through shoes. And, you know, as a singer, I remember being at an audition one time. And when I finished singing, all the judges threw stuff at me off the table. Like, they notepads went to flying. They pens went to flying. And I was like, oh, my God. And they was like, ma'am, you sang us down, right? But we ain't got nothing here for you. I didn't even get the job. But everything that they threw at me, they threw it at me off the table. So anyway, when I was on The Voice, I can't help myself. When you get the singing and it sounds so good, baby, before I knew it, that, sh that shoe gonna go flying across the room. <laughs> it is. And so it's my expression. So what I'm saying is, if you catch a shoe here at the Happy Place, it is my compliment to you. It's like a standing ovation. And trust, it's gonna be a good 
this shoe, okay? All right? Listen, but you know what? I ain't gonna toss the shoe at you, but I am gonna toss the break. We got a great show. We'll be right back. Now, y'all know I love me some basketball, and my next guest is an absolute beast on the court. Mm-hmm. I've always wanted to do this. That's right, dim them lights. Escorted by his dad and coach Mike from Williamsburg, Virginia, at four years old and 46 inches tall, give it up for Michael Lil Mike Jones! You do? Yes. Well, isn't he cute, y'all? Yes. You say hi to the people? <laughs> you know they all came to see you? Yes. <laughs> why is that? You know why? Because they wanted to. Because you're the MVP, right? Yes. That's right. The mic, can I get my gift? Yes. Can I see what you got me? Oh, my God, I love it so much. Thank you. Do y'all see this? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, tell me how much you love basketball. A lot. A lot? Yeah. What's your favorite part about it? The Lakers. The Lakers? <laughs> Give me five. I... <laughs> we love the Lakers, oh right? Oh, my God. Do you want to be on the Lakers one day? Yes. Okay. Have you been practicing? Yes. You, you practice with your dad, because dad's the coach, right? Yes. Okay. Now, how often do you practice? Uh, we practice Monday through Friday, every day for at least a couple hours a day. Every day? Every day. Do you ever get tired of practicing? No. No? <laughs> you sound like my son. <laughs> you know what, LaMike? He got a hoop in the pool. I just put one. I snuck in his room, and I put one in the shower, too. <laughs> do, you, do you have hoops, like, everywhere? Uh, yes. Do, do you have a favorite shot you do? Yes. Sure. He, he... Ooh. Ooh. Ooh! He got the <laughs> technique and all! Oh. Hey, look like, do you ever get to play with other kids your age? The eight and seven years old. Wait, you four? You play with eight and seven year olds? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, you're brave. <laughs> I got a question. Is dad a good basketball player, too? Yes. He is? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is he one of your favorites? Yes. Okay. Can y'all show me some of your drills? Yes. Oh my God, I cannot wait to see this. I want to see, y'all want to see? Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start back here. Bigger than you. Oh, yeah, he is back so here. cute. All right, so look, you're going to dribble up. You're going to go between the legs, behind the back. Come on, show him something. Show him something. Yeah! Do you see this? Oh my, what? We scatter you. Between your legs. Oh, oh, oh. Let me be quiet. Let me let him concentrate. You want to show him how to dribble, Mike? Yes. All right, go ahead. Show him how to dribble, man. Let's see that. Let me see. Okay. Listen, you got me nervous. I want to try. Hold, can you hold this? You Let, try. Take it easy on me, little Mike. Okay? I got to make little David proud. Hold on, baby. <laughs> Give me a second. Now, what I got to do? Go. I need two balls. Oh, y'all. Come on, cheer me on. Yeah. Give me some. Let's go, Mike. Smile with it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, I didn't do too good with the, the balls. So can you show me, what's this, the floor ladder? Can you do the ladder? Can you yes. show me what that is? Yes. And this is something I need to learn how to do to be, you know, a part of the future all-star celebrity game, huh? <laughs> this is serious. 
You gonna show that ladder? You gonna go on this side? Okay, now, Dad, dude, come on, coach me. I got. Okay. Oh, we. There you go, Mike. There you go, Mike. I think I did okay. Here we go, man. Uh oh. Oh, Mike gonna leave me. One more time. Mike, I'm tired. Mike. Okay, a little. Good job. Yeah, my Yes. That was the cutest thing I've ever seen. Okay. Okay, but Mike, you see I'm still out of breath. Well, you know what? I can't let you leave empty-handed. You need a swag bag for that handshake you just gave right there. Yeah. We're gonna get you a Laker swag bag. Yeah. There you go. And a customized j hud hoodie. Yes, yes. Future. MVP right. Oh, we gotta get a hug. Yeah. Oh my God, and you're gonna autograph my shirt too, right? Ooh. Well, Mike, whose number is that? Shit. That's right. <laughs> Shack Attack. Yes, yes. Hey, yes, we are truly honored to have one of the most legendary, iconic players ever in the NBA, y'all. Here at the Happy Place today, please welcome number 34, Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> What's up? How you doing? Lil Mike, what we thinking? What we thinking, Lil Mike? What you got? Who is that? Shaq. You see he keeping his cool. Yeah, he's very nervous. He keeping his cool. Have you ever slam dunk before? No. Would you like to? Yes. I can help you, come on. Oh my God. But first, but first, I got a surprise for you. Have you ever been to a Laker game? No. Say thank you to Miss Jennifer Hudson because she's sending you and your family to a Laker game. <laughs> Tell her thank you. Thank you. Right, come on. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh my God. He's going to pick you up so you can do it. I'm going to lift you up. I ain't going to drop you. Come Trust on. me. <laughs> oh my God. He's going to pick you up. He's going to pick you up. Come on. Let's go. You want to dunk? I love these moments. I've never dropped a baby. I got you. You ready? Ah! Uh, oh! 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 Good job, oh big man. Good job. Good job. That was a. You did that. Hey, look, Mike. You want to tell? You, you want to tell Big game? Chat? Here. You know what? <laughs> hey, let him have it. Let him have it. Stand like right here. Come on. If you miss a shot. She has to give me a kiss. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> we'll be right back! We'll be right back! <laughs> you know him, you love him. And I am so excited that he's here. He's a four-time NBA champion and Hall of Fame legend. Y'all, please welcome the one and only Shaquille O'Neal! <laughs> you just never know what to expect with you. Did you I, carry your good hair in a bag or something? Where, where do you keep your good wig at? I just had to make you laugh. You, you know what? That's what you do. Can I, say, can I say hello to somebody up here? Please. I saw the finest woman in Los Angeles. Oh, okay. Uh, excuse me, good looking with the yellow, second to the last row. You, yeah, you. You stand on up. You so fine. Come here, baby. Give me a hug. 
She said this. Come on, come on. Come said, give me a hug. She said, come in. Yeah, come, come, come on. Bring it up, she come, is. Yes. She's <laughs> come on, come give me a hug. Come on, that's so fine. <laughs> you better get your hug. This for you. Oh, I love you. You ain't, you ain't married, are you? No. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Was, she, she, she. That's the finest oh. thing in LA right now. Listen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God. You know oh, yeah. how to set a tone. Thank you for being here. You finally made it to the happy place. Cause I only really get to look you upside the head at the All-Star game. I know that's true. Mm-hmm. And you, you put my kid in the headlock at the game. You remember that? I, I do remember Them that. Them kids are still talking about it to this day. How they doing? They are doing wonderful. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, See, there yeah, you go. Yeah, Thank I you for being that. so sweet to my kid. All the time. We appreciate you. <laughs> okay, let, let me get to the shoes first before we go any further. You know, cause you the, you the foot king, yes, right? I am. What size shoe you in? 22. Okay, so when did you realize, like, oh, Lord, my feet is just going to carry on? You're so beautiful, you got my eyes watering. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. <laughs> Let me look at you. Now, listen, that's the woman right there. No, Come no. on back. She, I can have two. <laughs> she, I'm just, okay. No, you, man, you are looking really good. Thank you. What was your question? I'm sorry, I, I wasn't done. <laughs> oh, shoe size. Uh, Similar to your son. I was uh, back there listening when I was 13. It was 13, and uh, it just kept going. And, you know, my, my mom had, had problems finding me shoes also. Okay. So, but it was, it, was, it was one guy in Atlanta that went up to size 26, Bruce, Bruce from Friedman. So we would call him. And my father called him one day because I needed some dress shoes for prom, and they were $200. And uh, we couldn't afford them. And Bruce said, Hey, Sarge, I know who your son is. He's going to be an NBA player. When he makes it to the NBA, just make sure he comes to buy his shoes from me. And I've been buying my shoes from him ever since. Ever since? Yes. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. See, you do a lot of good deeds for people. Like, you try to do something good every day? I do. Like what? So, you know, yesterday, as a matter of fact, I was in Best Buy, and I saw two beautiful, gorgeous little black girls. Oh, they were stunning. Similar to you and my other girlfriend up there. <laughs> and, I, you know, I like to, I like to bless them. So I, I said, what, what are y'all doing? They said, we need to get something for our report. I said, you got a laptop? She said, yeah. I said, you got a brand new laptop? She said, no. So I bought her, her sister, her mom, and her dad a laptop. Oh, I love that. Where does that come from? My source of energy comes from one person. Dr. Lucille O'Neill, that's my mother. Mm. You know, like when I'm having a conversation with kids, Love they say, how does it feel to be rich? And I said, my definition of being rich is different. My definition of being rich is growing up, watching a woman wake up, make our breakfast, iron our clothes, work all day, wear the same gear she wore, not yesterday, but the day before, mix it up, come home, cook our dinner, mm. and never complain. So I always said as a youngster, if I ever make it rich, I want my mama to be able to have anything she wants. So as long as my mom can have anything she wants, I'm happy to yeah. And she told me to tell you hello, by the way. Hi. Yeah, she told me to tell her. So me, making her smile just, you know, just gives me joy because, and I wanted to tell little Mike this. I know you want to become an NBA player, but the secret is all you have to do is listen to mommy and daddy. When I was a... When I was a medium juvenile delinquent, not knowing what I wanted to be, and I would just come to the house and make stuff up. Mom, buy your house one day. The look on her eye, like she believed it. She, she would always say, I know, baby. I know, baby. Mm. So, you know, I wanted to tell him to make sure he always listened to his parents. So, my father's no longer with us, but, you know, I just try to do everything correctly for my mother. Wow. You're a great example. That's Thank for you. sure. Are you, I'm, I'm sure you're instilling the same things in your kids. Are they givers, too? Yeah, they are. They're, they're, you know, I've, I'm blessed. I have, I have six wonderful kids. They, they don't give me problems. You know, I, they're kind of upset with me. Wow, they're upset with you? Yeah. Why? Because I said something, and I was just trying to be funny, but I was serious at the same time. 
It says you can't touch daddy cheese until you get two degrees. That's a good one, honey. So they're, David, you, you know, they're, they're young and they're doing their own thing now. And they call me for money every now and then. I'll be like, I ain't got it. Daddy broke. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got it. Oh, my goodness. Are they into sports, too? I have, uh, well, my youngest daughter, uh, Miara, she's probably the best. And then Shakira's uh-huh. at Texas Southern. And my son Sharif is in the G League. I want my two other daughters to hear and Amir. I want them to, to, to be lawyers. I kind of have to bribe them to be lawyers. Okay. You know, I, I had a conversation with the boys and the girls. The boys are kind of upset. They're like, you treat the girls different. And I was like, you damn right I do. <laughs> damn right I do. So, I'm, you know, you have, to, you have to protect and provide for the ladies. So I, I give them, you know, incentive packages. So I would love my two, two daughters. I know they're watching. I'm, Daddy wants you to go to law school. He'll hook you up. That's right. Make Daddy proud. Yeah. Yep. Will you stick around for a little bit? I know you're a busy man. Yep. All right. More with Shaq. We'll be right back. We're back with the one and only Shaq. That's for sure. Okay, so tell me about this, because you be flirting with everybody. Okay, you made the headlines because you were sliding into Kerry Washington's DMs. What happened? See, you was over there talking about telling her to call you. Look, you didn't even hear what I said. No, what happened? You made the headlines because you was uh, DMing. Kerry Washington? First of all, I wasn't DMing him. Well, what you call it? I'm a fan of hers, and mm-hmm. we were talking about scandal. Because we want to know what he was DMing, I, right? I, I, said, I said, first of all, I said, God bless you, I'm proud of you, and I love your show. Because I was watching Scandal. Like, I, I, didn't, I wasn't watching when it was on, so I, I picked it up, and I was watching, like, one through three, season seven. And I'm a binge watcher, so I, I watched, like, seven seasons, like, three days. And then when it went off, I, I couldn't find it. So I jumped in the DM and was like, hey, is Scandal coming back on? That's all it was. You know your boy Charles Barkley was here last season. I don't know who that season. is. I don't know who that is. You don't know who that yeah. is? That's your best friend. No, I hate Char- <laughs> Charles, I hate you. When I come to work next week, I'm going to punch you right in your face. <laughs> Sorry about that. See, but see, he taught me his, like, his, his favorite, famous rebound technique. OK, just take Charles a look. I can't terrible. even do Cut it. it out. Listen. Oh, the ball's getting ready to go up. First thing I'm doing is boom. Oh, yeah, you right. right. If you try to go that way or that way, I'm moving, I'm moving. <laughs> hey, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? What you think? <laughs> That's not a good technique? When I see that clip, you know what song I think of? What do you think of? Oh, God, what is it? Do it in the butt. <laughs> sexy, sexy. Come on, do it with me. Ain't nothing wrong if you want a little butt. All I love doing the butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> you better get into it. Listen, you took us back why, with that one. Why did Charles put his big ass on your leg? He almost took you out. You okay? He did almost take right. you out. You all right? I'm going to leave that to I, y'all. Damn, Charles. Listen, okay. Put your booty on that lady leg like that. <laughs> Y'all are too funny. Okay. I was getting ready to say a joke, but I, I can't say it. What's your joke? I can't say it. Say it. Say it. You sure? Say it. Say it. I was, I was getting ready to say you look good dribbling those balls over there. <laughs> See, I didn't, I didn't want to say it, Jennifer. You, you made me say it. You made me say it. That is not happy place appropriate. We got four-year-old Lil Mike. You, you made me say it. I didn't want to say it. OK. Well, you know what? With that being said, we're going to move on. You're a fabulous DJ, huh? I am. You're musical? No, but I can sing better than you. OK. Oh. Well, then I can play ball better than you. And you're going to have to sing me deep, oh, OK? Because I know you got about. And if I, yeah, see? <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, clear your throat. <laughs> and if I see, <laughs> got some water. You need, you oh, need yeah, a need whole cup. Water. There you, that's right. Singing that Jennifer Hudson. Uh, I'm ready. You just let me know. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna hold you to that. Now, come on. And boy. if Stop I singing. Listen. ever fall in love again, I'm we sure the lady will be more than just a friend. And you gonna pay for that licensing for that song? I ain't paying like nothing. Too. Is that the type of music you DJ though? No, I DJ uh, dubstep. 
Dubs, what is that? What does that mean? All right, follow me. Make sure you go like this. I may Dubs. shake my wig off. No, no, harder. Good. Harder? Uh uh. Yeah. Do I got enough pants? No, don't. <laughs> don't put your hand uh, on your head. Just don't. Go. Just do this? Yeah. Okay, and yeah, that's that dubstep? Definitely. Yeah, dubstep. How did you get into that? So, I was missing the adrenaline part of my life. So, from, mm. from your son's age to 40, three times a week, I go to a game, fans cheering, hour and a half. And when I retired, I didn't have that. So I went to a music festival one time, and there was half a million people out there, and I kind of felt that feeling again. And I used to DJ back in the day, and I actually used to DJ in college for money. Uh, so, Amazing. you know, I, I started from the bottom, and they now say I'm a top DJ, but it gives me the same feeling as a, a game seven. I understand that. Can you stick around? I guess so. We'll be right back. <laughs> and we're back with Shaquille O'Neal. What you got? What are you up to? Somebody come get him. Ooh. Listen, behave yourself. Listen. Yes, ma'am. I am so honored to be performing at your event, the event, this weekend. Thank you for having me. Can you tell us more about it? Well, it's an event uh, that we do in Las Vegas, and we, uh, you know, we raise money for children in Atlanta and Las Vegas. Uh, you asked why Atlanta and Las Vegas. These are the places that I'm at. For example, uh, the first year we did it, we raised enough money where I built my own Shaquille O'Neal Boys and Girls Club, because the Boys and Girls Club was a saving for me. So with the money this year, especially with you, you, you coming, a lot of people bought tickets once you announced, so thank you. I'm so happy to hear so, that. With the money this year, we're gonna build a, a very large Boys and Girls Club in Las Vegas. Oh so. my God, and this is your third yes. one? Yes, yeah, my third one. Why is this so important to you? Because, you know, it's the right thing to do. You know, my, my mother and my father always taught me to help those in need, and there's a lot of people yes. out there that are not as blessed as we are, so. I just try and do my part. That's why like, you're so blessed. A lot of people call it giving back. I call it doing, it, doing what my mama told me to do. Mm, that's right. Yes. Mama, you did right. That's for sure. But that's amazing. What, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> I can't deal with this one. Okay, speaking of shoes, tell me, you be painting your toenails. I do. How did you get started doing that? Because I have ugly ass feet. <laughs> So pain to make it no, better? No, so no, th that's this is the true story. So one time I had a I had a uh, I had a toe injury. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had a that's toe a injury. Right there. And I was playing with my little daughter and she painted my toes and I scored forty points, so I just kept painting them. But so it's like a good luck thing? As you well, it, it does beautify my feet a little bit. Look at those things. Those things is it beautiful. always green or is it different colors? I pick and choose the colors. How long do you keep your color? As long as it stays on. As long as it stays on? Yeah, it ain't, I, it, it ain't something I do all the time. Like, when I look down and I'll be like, damn, my feet are ugly, then I'll get them painted. <laughs> but they still look pretty, so. They look beautiful. Didn't they feet look beautiful? My toes are green, boo-boo. <laughs> my toes are green, boo-boo. Yeah, they, are they green, green right now? Money green, boo-boo. Money green? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God, I love it, boo-boo. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for being here. That's it? Well, I mean, you can stay as long as you like. No, it, we got to play some games, though. We got to play some games? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to whip uh -huh. your ass in that basketball. That's for you. Sure. Sax Charity event. The event nowhere. is tomorrow night, October 7th, at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Get your feet off my table. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now, I love shining the spotlight on my amazing audience. Y'all brought it today. Check out your fabulous looks. Give yourselves a hand, please. Yes. Y'all, they gave us an idea. It is time for our new segment called Dress Me Down, baby. We're... I like that. Mm, mm. Here's how it works. Three teams will have 45 seconds to put together an outfit using clothes we have here. And they'll model that look right here on this fabulous runway. Then the audience will decide who did it best. Okay, let's get our teams out here. Here we go. Hi, beautiful ladies. Hi, beautiful ladies. Yes, I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, you look fabulous already, I must say. How are you all? What is your names and how do you know each other? I am Jennifer Grothus from Abilene, Texas, and this is my identical twin sister. Oh my God, I love it. How did we get that, guys? And 
I'm Judy from Reno, Nevada, just retired from 30 years of teaching. Nice. Thank you for being here. Team two, what's your names and how do you know each other? Doing good, and my name is Jasmine from Tyler, Texas. Love it. <laughs> nice. So I am a professional hairstylist, braid artist, and this is my client slash friend. So <laughs> we're switching roles. I style her now, she's styling me. I'm gonna style her today. <laughs> Listen, I was already thinking I love the hair. So both of y'all look great. Thank okay. You. And what's your names and how do you know each other? Hi, Jennifer. My name is Susie. I'm from Pico River, California. California. This is my cousin, Minerva. Oh, too cute. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. You already, you already look good, like I said before. Okay, here's how the runway challenge is put together. I want you guys to get ready to, like you're selling on a fancy yacht. Don't that sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay, see, because I want you to get dressed from head to toe. Make sure you grab hats, jewelry, and everything else you can find to get yourselves together for this fabulous yacht ride. Can y'all handle that for me? You have 45 seconds. Y'all ready? I'm gonna put it on the clock. Yeah. Get ready, get set. Let us have it. Let's go. Dress me down. Come on now. What we got? Yes, that head is good. I like that. We got 33 seconds. What we looking like? Okay, we gotta move faster because I like to get dressed quick. Now we put the sweater on on the yacht though. Okay, quick on these pants. What we doing over here, y'all? Okay, this is really good. This is really good. This is looking fabulous. Oh, oh, we need more than that. What about our accessories and shoes and glasses? We need a hat or something. Come on, baby. Y'all got nine seconds, eight seconds, five, four. Are we there yet? Almost there. Okay, what about some accessories, baby? I need to know. It doesn't matter. Oh, time is up. Okay. Okay, time up. All right. Gather ourselves. We put our britches back on. Okay. Okay, head over to the top of the runway. And let's see these beautiful looks. Y'all ready for this? We're gonna see what we got. Sometimes it takes a while to get ready, ladies. We understand, right? The men be like, what's taking y'all so long? If you only knew the things we go through, honey. Team one, can y'all work this runway for me? Give them some music, lights, action. Come on, give me drama. Yes, serve it. Okay, we have the fabulous hat. The two. Yes. I like that. I like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh! 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 Okay. Yes! Did you see that? Yes, ma'am. Okay, it's stay. <laughs> that was wonderful. You look in those glasses and everything. Ma'am, please just come team back two. Out here. Take it away, darling. Take it away. was so fabulous. Okay, now I need the audience to decide. Did y'all enjoy that? Okay, I need to hear it for team one, baby. How y'all feel about team one? Okay, okay. That feels good? That feels good. Okay, what about team two? You hear that? You hear that? All right. Can y'all give a hand for team three? Okay, okay, I love that. I feel like it's going to uh, team one over there is the winner. Yes, yes, you and your partner each are getting a $250. Yes, you will. Congratulations. And the rest of you, you're getting J Hud swag, but you're still fabulous. Keep it up. Y'all dress me down. I love it so much, but you better know it's my turn.
If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.